everyone, it's me again, Teacher Rialin. Welcome to our class. For today's video, we have health-related fitness on measuring body mass index. I hope you watch until the end of this video. Are you ready? Let's start. Hello learners, at the end of this video presentation, you will be able to Number 1. Define the meaning of BMI Classify the body mass index according to its classification Number 3. Compute the BMI of individual and the family members Before we proceed to our discussion, I want you to identify the picture of the different body types Write your answer in your notebook. Next picture. And the other picture. The other picture and now answer the question below now what kind of body do these persons have what do you think are their lifestyle what do you need to know in this lesson the term body mass index well defined We'll explore the formula to calculate a person's BMI. Several different examples can assist you in learning this concept. Finally, a few examples of how to use BMI in the healthcare world will be described. What is BMI? BMI stands for Body Mass Index. It is used to check whether we have a healthy weight according to our height. BMI is calculated by dividing a person's weight in kilogram with his height in meter squared. How we classify the BMI Here are the classification of BMI. A BMI of 18.49 or below indicates that person is underweight. 18.5 to 24.99 is considered as a normal weight. 25 to 29.99 overweight and a BMI of 30 or more is considered as obese. How to compute your BMI? The formula to calculate BMI requires information about person's height in meter and weight in kilogram. BMI weight in kilograms divided by height in meter squared. For example, you have 30 kg in weight divided by 1.20 meters squared. BMI is equals 30 divided by 1.44. The BMI is equals to 20.83. That is normal weight. Let's have an exercise. Compute the body mass index and identify its classifications. Write it in your notebook. Do it now. I want you to answer the following questions before we proceed to our assessment. Number 1. What should be the ideal BMI of a person and why? Number 2. What is the importance of having a normal BMI? Number 3. How can a person acquire a normal BMI? Let's have an activity. The materials needed and tape measure. Set your own height and weight together with your family members and compute their own BMI 
and identify its classification. Write it in your notebook. Thank you for joining today's class. God bless everyone.